Decoding Diabetes, 10 Vital Signs Your Feet Are Revealing. In the quiet narrative of our bodies, our feet might be soft-spoken, but they hold tales of a profound truth about our well-being. When it comes to diabetes, these tales become urgent whispers we need to heed. Join us as we interpret the 10 vital signs your feet are revealing, each a chapter in the story of your health. Number 1. Numbness or Tingling Imagine a sensation as elusive as the flickering of a candle flame creeping into the soles of your feet. This numbness or tingling, often described as a mysterious pins, needles dance, could be signaling the onset of diabetic neuropathy. It's not the fleeting numbness that comes from sitting too long. It's a persistent whisper of nerve damage, a silent testimony to the excess sugars coursing through your veins that, over time, can erode the protective sheath around your nerves. When you notice such sensations, it's crucial to acknowledge them as the body's call to action. By managing blood sugar levels diligently, embracing diabetes-friendly exercises, seeking medical guidance, you can address these signs, preventing them from developing into a louder cry for help. Hey there, kindly and lovingly, click the like button to keep our lights on. It will greatly brighten our day. Leave a heartfelt comment. It will keep us creating. Thank you. Back to number two, swelling. When your feet begin to resemble the gentle swell of a rising tide, pay attention to this transformation. This swelling often gravitates toward the ankles. The plush L, the plush that scape beneath the skin of the foot, heralding the possibility of compromised circulation or a heart laboring under the weight of diabetic strain. Diabetes can craft a narrative of disruption in blood flow, fluid balance leading to this noticeable edema. To alleviate the swelling, a symphony of actions is required. A diet that sings low-sodium tunes, the simple act of elevating your feet to defy gravity, the gentle embrace of compression socks that guide fluids away from your feet. Above all, it's the partnership with your healthcare provider that can orchestrate the best management strategy. Number three, slow healing sores. There's a story of resilience in every sore that doesn't heal with the expected cadence on a diabetic's foot. These are not just marks, they are indicators of a healing process that's been outpaced by the high sugars in your blood. These sores can appear anywhere on the foot, particularly in bearing of the brunt of our weight. Daily friction. The reason they linger isn't due to a lack of care, but rather to the subtle sabotage of diabetes on the body's circulatory. Defense systems. The narrative unfolds with blood that flows more sluggishly, depriving wounds of the nourishment. Immune cells they need to mend. Recognizing these slow healers is more than half the battle. It's a call to diligently monitor any breaks in the skin to keep blood glucose levels in check with a conscientious diet. Regular medication to invite medical professionals into your journey early to help turn the page towards recovery. Number four, dry skin and cracks. Consider the arid terrain of dry, cracked skin on your feet, not as mere inconveniences, but as a reflection of a deeper imbalance within. In the world of diabetes, these cracks in the skin's armor can be the result of your body's moisture being siphoned away by elevated sugar levels. This dehydration can leave skin vulnerable, reducing its elasticity, opening gateways for infections to take hold. Addressing this desertification involves not just the application of moisturizers to replenish what's been lost, but also a commitment to managing blood sugar levels to prevent the internal drought from resurfacing. It's a narrative of proactive self-care where every application of cream is a verse in the poetry of preservation. Number five, cold feet. In the lexicon of bodily signs, the persistent coldness of one's feet stands out as a peculiar phrase. It's often whispered by poor circulation, a common side effect of diabetes where blood vessels constrict, restrain the flow of warmth, life to the extremities. This chill isn't just a temporary discomfort, but a symptom pointing towards the need for warmer, more vigorous blood flow. The remedy lies in fostering circulation through regular activity, in wrapping your feet in warmth, 
In seeking medical advice to ensure that this coldness is not a prelude to more serious vascular issues. Number six, changes in skin color. When your feet display a spectrum of unexpected hues, from sallow yellows to bruised purples, it's not merely a cosmetic concern, but a canvas displaying the effects of diabetes. These color changes can signal a variety of underlying conditions, each color a different chapter in the story of your vascular health influenced by the ebb, flow of blood, oxygen levels affected by diabetes. It's essential to read these changes as critical text, prompting regular inspections. Consultations with health professionals who can interpret these signs suggest lifestyle adjustments or treatments to address the root causes. Number seven, loss of hair on toes and lower legs. The absence of hair on the toes. Lower legs might seem like a trivial detail in the grand narrative of your body. However, this loss can be a subtle footnote indicating poor blood flow, often a subplot in the diabetes narrative. The hair follicles, deprived of their vital blood supply, cease to produce the strands that once graced your skin. To rewrite this part of your story, focus on enhancing circulation with exercise. Careful management of your blood sugar, thus providing your follicles with the nourishment they need to bring back the hair, health they once heralded. Number eight, pain when walking. If every step you take is accompanied by pain, it's not just a physical sensation, but a paragraph in the story of your health that demands attention. This pain, especially when walking, can be a narrative woven by diabetes, a tale of nerves crying out as they're affected by high sugar levels. It's a symptom that calls not for rest, but for action. Well-fitted footwear, perhaps orthotics. A commitment to managing your diabetes with the help of healthcare professionals who can help you walk the path of comfort once again. Number nine. Changes in foot shape. When the shape of your foot subtly shifts, it's not a quirk of age, but could be an important plot twist in your diabetes story. Such morphing can be the result of nerve damage or changes in blood flow, both understudies in the drama of diabetes that can alter the structure and function of your feet. These changes are not just aesthetic, but can influence how you step move, redistributing pressure across your soles in ways that could lead to calluses or ulcers. The remedy is not just in seeking new footwear to accommodate the changing landscape of your feet, but in working with medical experts to address the underlying diabetic causes, ensuring that each step you take is on solid ground. Number 10. Fungal infections. Lastly, let's turn the page to fungal infections, those uncomfortable, itchy interlopers between your toes. These aren't mere annoyances, but critical annotations in the margins of your health story, often exacerbated by the high-sugar environment that diabetes creates. Such infections thrive in the warm, moist recesses of your feet, can become recurrent themes if not properly addressed. The strategy here is twofold. Maintain rigorous foot hygiene to discourage fungal growth. Manage your diabetes effectively to reduce the sugary allure that fungi find so inviting. Each day of careful washing and drying, of applying antifungal treatment as needed, is a line of defense in maintaining the integrity of your narrative. Conclusion. In the epic tale of your health, your feet may play a supporting role, but the signs they give are leading indicators of your diabetes management. From the tingling of nerves to the pallor of poor circulation, each sign is a verse in the poetry of your well-being. They tell a story that you have the power to edit revising each chapter as you take proactive steps to manage your diabetes. The narrative arc of your health is in your hands and your feet. Are you ready to author a new chapter in your health story? Embrace the signs your feet are giving you. Become the protagonist in your journey to wellness. Like this video to support your own narrative. Share it to help others find their path and subscribe for more insights into the story of health and diabetes. With each step forward, you're crafting a future where your health story is one of triumph and vitality.